Hello, everyone. Okay, this is a redo of a video that I originally did back in like 2019 on May 24th, 2019. And I and I accidentally deleted the video, so I want to redo this video all over again, okay? And let's see if I can do it better this time than I did before. <laughs> okay, what this video is, is it's everything that I noted. It's things I noticed that are wrong with a live action, with a certain live action movie, which I'm not going to say the name of. But it's going to become kind of obvious what I'm talking about here as, as, it go, as the video goes on. Okay, now, I want you guys to think back to about the early 2000s, okay, about 2002 to about 2007, okay? Okay, good. Now, do you guys remember watching a show on, say, the Disney Channel about, about, about someone, about someone who literally saves the world from bad guys mm -hmm. i think you can kind of figure out where i'm going with this but some of the things i mentioned in this video that i noticed that are wrong with this wrong with this movie i think it's going to kind of give away what i'm talking about and and again i want you to keep in mind this video this movie came out in 2019 and it was on Disney, and I think it is currently available to buy on DVD, I think. And it is currently available on Disney+. Plus. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might as well just come out and say it, okay? It's things I noticed that are wrong with the live-action Kim Possible movie. Yes, I know, I know, I know what I just said, I know. But keep in mind, I wanted to redo this video already. I already wanted to redo this video because I screw. I kind of screwed it up before, and I and I figured redoing it would probably be a better idea. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to our first um problem that I this first thing I noticed. I noticed that Professor Dementor's outfit is the wrong color. I think it was like blue or purple or something and if i remember correctly it was supposed to be red no this is like orange i think um basically the color of these um of these sheets right here pretty much yeah and i'm not sure if this was a mistake or if this was like you know like the person they hired the person they picked to play wade in the movie but Wade reroutes Dementor, Dementor's pod to the police station. You know, you know, because Dementor was, as you remember, he was a criminal. Who, by the way, was voiced by Patton Oswalt, if you remember right. And yes, Patton Oswalt pl actually played him in the movie. So, so that was really, you know, kind of nice of him to do that. Now, this one, I know, this one, I don't know how, I don't know how they screwed this up. I really don't, people. Get this. Bonnie said this school, this is a soccer school. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, people, and I could be. But wasn't Kim on the cheerleading squad? Mm. And didn't they have like football at Middleton High? Mm. Yeah. Just saying. And this, okay, this one, I don't know why they even, why they even included this scene. It's, it's really kind of pointless. But Kim tries out for the soccer team and ends up, you know, not being as good as she thinks she is. Even though her motto is, I can do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, boy. Disney, I want to know what you were thinking with this with this little mistake. Okay, you decided to make the communicator the communicator she has 
this little like necklace thing around her neck instead of her being actually able to hold it in her hand like she like she's supposed to do. Yeah. And this one? Oh my god. How did you screw this up? Draken's skin only had like a few like blue veins in it instead of it actually being blue. You really couldn't you really couldn't do anything with that. Just saying. Just saying. Now how did you screw this how'd you screw this little how'd you get this little one wrong? Mr. Barkin is almost bald. I'm sorry, but I wasn't aware that a guy who had a buzz cut and basically was being a to and basically was being kind you know kind of like a kind of like a drill sergeant was almost bald and a little bit you know a little bit heavy set and the guy and the guy in the series was voiced by Patrick Warburton again he's awesome at least i think he is <laughs> now if you guys have your own opinion I'm perfectly fine with that mhm mm but the guy they picked to play him in the movie, Mr. Barkin, I mean, he was like almost bald, a little bit heavy, and he had this thing for cats, for a cat, for his cat, for a cat that he probably had. I don't know. I don't know. Now, this wasn't a mistake that I caught, but I just thought it a little bit, you know, kind of bizarre. They introduce a new character named Athena. I don't know why she was even in the movie. I mean, think about it. She wasn't... She, I mean, was she, originally I thought she was going to be something like, you know, what Monique was in the series, I guess. I don't know. Oh, boy. Now, this, this, this I cannot comprehend no matter how hard I try. Athena dons Kim's season four look. And I don't really understand why. I don't get it. Now, this was an obvious mistake that I'm pretty sure almost anyone who remembers the series would have caught. I caught it and I don't know why in the heck they did it. Rufus is at an underground institute. Um, if anybody who watched the series can, you know, can please correct me here, and I'm, and I might be misremembering this, I may be misremembering this, but didn't, didn't Ron find Rufus at, like, the Smarty Mart, or whatever they call, whatever store they called it? I could be wrong about that, you know. Now, I don't really understand what this what this is all about, but Zicadium? I mean, did did Draken need it to like, I don't know, power his machine or something? Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't know I'm pretty sure I, I miss I'm misremembering this, but Kim's grandma knows, you know, knows that she more or less saves the world and is and you know when Athena gets to be, you know, gets to be better than she is at things. You know, her grandmother decides to console her because, you know, she's um, probably feeling a little down the dumps. So again, if that's a mistake or something, or if somebody can, you know, correct me on this, I really kind of appreciate that. And then this one, how did how did no one see this coming? Athena works for Draken. Really? But wait a minute. How did he make a how do you make how did he make her look practically human, have a human type voice, and yet ne and yet and yet she never once never once showed any signs of showing that she was a Cyborg? Android? I don't know. Now this part, I can't, I cannot figure out 
what in the world Draken was thinking in this part? Anyway, once he's got the once he's got the spark that you know he thinks Kim has, you know, you know as to why his plans always fail. Probably because, and the reason why his plans probably fail is because he's kind of an idiot. At least I guess that's why. Um, Draken transfers the Kim's spark to him. Um, to him, and he made him transfer. Yeah, hang on, let me try this again. Draken transfers that Kim's spark to himself and made himself a kid again and he realized his plans was fo were foiled. Okay. How does that work? How do how would that work really? I mean, really. And, wait a minute. Wait. I just realized something. If Dragon's a kid again in the movie, wouldn't that mean he wouldn't that mean he has to go back to like elementary school or something? Or was that a reference to a sitch in time? I just I just real I just thought of that. So anyway, you're probably wondering what is my final grade for this movie, you know, with with all these mistakes that I noticed. Well, originally, originally when I made this video, I gave it a B minus, you know, because I thought, you know, it was pretty good and, you know, all that stuff. But after rethink, after, after thinking about it for a while, let's just say that B got changed to a C. So it's a C minus for the, for the movie. It's, it's kind of middle of the road and, you know doesn't really make a lot of doesn't make it it makes some sense you know because of the world it's in but other parts it does not so guys if you've seen this movie what are your thoughts on it and if you haven't and you remember the series and you more or less think them and you think this movie might have a chance Go and let me go and let me know what you thought of it, okay? And guys, till next time.